All right, everyone. So I put this question on the community section on my YouTube channel yesterday. So if your rear tire starts to skid because you applied too much pressure to the rear brake, what do you do? You just keep the pressure on the rear brake and allow the rear tire to just keep on skidding until you stop. Do you release pressure on the rear brake or do you only release pressure if the rear tire is in line with the front tire? So let's talk about it, right? So if your tires are in an alignment, a little bit too much pressure on the rear brake, the rear tire starts to skid. If the tires are in line, sure, you could just hold it down and just keep on continuing to skid, just destroying your tire. You could do that, right? But the actual technique is if your rear tire starts to skid and your tires are in line, you ease off rear brake pressure to allow the tire to roll again so it's just not skidding. However, if you add a little bit too much rear brake, your rear tire starts to skid, and then you try to turn the handlebars at all, if the rear tire kicks out like this, and now the tires are out of alignment, if you let go very quickly on that rear brake, the rear tire will regain traction, and it'll snap back behind the front tire, possibly causing you to high side. A high side crash is when the rear tire loses grip, regains grip, wee, you're going to fly over the handlebars, okay? So what do you do if your rear tire starts to skid, and the handlebars are turned? This is probably your best idea to hold the rear brake down, right? And just allow it, you're just gonna keep on going straight. You, you lose the ability to turn the motorcycle while the rear tire is skidding. And if it's going like this, sometimes it's fun just to take off the ABS and just, and just going down and just get used to that skidding feeling. Sometimes it's a lot of fun to do. So if the tires are in alignment, the technique is ease off the rear brake. That is the technique, that's what you wanna do. The tires are out of alignment and the rear starts kicking out like this, then you do not want to just let go of the rear brake because it could regain traction, right? So let's see this in real life. So here's the correct technique. As you can see, the rear tire starts to skid, then you ease off pressure. This next one, you'll see I turn my handlebars while I'm skidding, watch. See, and you're still gonna go straight even though you're skidding. But as long as you ease off pressure when you're no longer moving, like have um, momentum, you're probably not just going to high side. See, I almost come to a stop and then I ease off pressure at the very last second. To get used to the skidding sensation, sometimes I do this. To stomp on that rear brake, skid the tire on purpose and kind of do like 90 degree turns. It's a lot of fun to do to get used to that sensation of skidding. But either way, this is just a question and an answer. What do you do if the rear tire starts to skid in the basic sense? There's a lot more we could go into. But this is just step one. Get out there and practice.